This is Xylee, and today we are going to be up potting. We've got some peas. Let me turn you around and show you. So we've got some peas right here um, in the greenhouse. We have more of these. Um, planted a couple of them in containers, and then we got a bunch of rain. So I'm glad I didn't plant everything because I'm kind of worried we would lose them. And then I have some really cool spinach that's in my let pot, which is a hydroponic grow system. And those need up potted as well. We went to Walmart today and we got some new seeds. Not that I need any more, but you never know. Um, so we did get some Blue Lake Bush green beans. I wasn't sure how many I had left. So we grabbed a pack of those, the big size. We got some broccoli. This is something that we go through a lot of um, in the spring and summertime. Hello, P and J's homestead. Can you say hello to them? Hello. <laughs> so we go through a lot of broccoli because my squirrel monkey, his name is Ollie and he is five years old and broccoli and cauliflower is like his main staples. Um, and we got some Brussels sprouts. We got Brussels sprouts. I've tried to grow these a couple of times um, and I'm never successful with them. And I think it's because I'm planting them at the wrong time of year. They always seem to um, shoot from the heat. Hello, our cabin in the woods. And we got hot peppers. We got some jalapeno peppers. Hello, Heather. Heather from Milk and Honey Farms. Say hello to Heather. Hello. <laughs> So we got some jalapenos. Usually I don't grow um, peppers. My friend down the street, she always grows way too many. And so usually she kind of like dumps them off at me, but they're never labeled. So we never know what we're getting until like halfway through the season. We're like, hmm, I think that's a jalapeno. I think that's an Anaheim pepper. Um, Heather says she likes your ears. Thank you. She's been obsessed with them. Um, we don't usually buy things like that, but we were walking through Ingalls um, In yesterday fountain. and they were like two bucks. So I was like, fine, take my $2. Here we go. I also got some microgreens. Um, these are also really good in the monkeys bowls and um, they're just super quick to sprout. So five days to harvest and you can have greens. And we got some radishes. Radishes, yes. We don't actually really ever eat these. Um, it's more so for companion planting. I have found that they help with the pests when planted next to certain plants. So those are more for experimentation purposes. <laughs> and maybe I'll freeze dry some, I don't know. And now we that we have the freeze dry. Peppers. We got sweet peppers, yes. So we got some of those. And we got some cauliflower. And then the big head of cauliflower. I don't know, um, hi Jerry, Jerry from Butler Family Farm. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in our area, the cauliflower has not only gone up in price, but like for a really small head of it, it's almost like six bucks. So that's also one of those kind of hit and miss things for us because of the weather here it just gets way too hot for that so we're gonna try it hopefully if worst case scenario we will put it in the indoor grow tent um, and I do have a I don't know if many of you guys have seen um, there's my falling apart chicken coop let's see where's it at oh it's behind the falling apart chicken coop we do have a greenhouse somewhere over there um, that also is falling apart at the moment I need to fix that, but I'm not sure how. I do have new nesting boxes coming because you can see this has, we got really, really, really bad wind. Um, not yesterday, but the day before. And it has completely knocked this off and there's really no way to fix it. My husband and I looked at it and it's it was used and just kind of temporary shelter and then this has just pretty much rotted out completely. So we did get a new box thing and I still have to wait till next month to buy a new enclosure pen because if anybody's gone 
chicken coop shopping recently. They are so expensive. Um, I almost like couldn't believe the price of what some of the coops are nowadays. But this is the greenhouse that we have. Um, you can see on the outside that wind took some of the um, panels off. So I've got two panels that I need to figure out how to put back up there. Um, duct tape maybe is going to solve that for us because I really don't, don't have any other option. But here's some of those peas that we had. And we just put them with our little makeshift trellis. I've got to figure out how to um, push that down in the dirt so my mower guy doesn't mess that up. We've got some marigolds growing here. We will be getting some leaf cutter bees from Kind Kind Farm Bees or Kind Bee Farms, I think they're called. Yeah, the wind is really crazy. Um, the last couple days has been terrible. And then my eucalyptus is coming back. She struggle bust all through winter, but she is coming back, thankfully. We've got the raspberry plants are crazy. Um, Luke came out and tried to trim around because they were just coming up everywhere. And then we do have our olive tree is looking rather nice. Never been able to get any olives off of it, but hopefully. And then we've got the fig tree. We gotta get a couple more of these. We've got our rhubarb is started already. So those are really fun. Yeah, we do actually really like rhubarb. We really like rhubarb juice. Yep. Yeah, strawberry rhubarb pie. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, you like strawberry rhubarb pie? Yeah, because that Oh, what is this one? I don't even remember what Daddy bought. Oh, that's the other fig. Hi, Sharon. Sharon from Mississippi. And then... So for those of you who are new, this is the, the main garden plot that we started a couple years ago. Um, this has been six years. And then last year we added, we took out a couple trees and we added all the way down there. Please disregard my dog pooping in the middle of my garden. Thanks, bro. <laughs> um, so have our entire backyard is a garden area. Yeah, was well, that really funny for you? She's done. Um, we have a local gentleman who comes, he brings his tractor and they charge us like less than a hundred bucks to come and till this all up. And it is so nice. They have, they're just awesome. I really appreciate them doing that um, for, for us because I don't have the money for a tiller. And then I've got, bro is standing on my carrots. I've got the rest of my carrots here. My carrots were terrible last year. Um, these are ones from last year that we thought we lost, but they got lost to the weeds and now are coming back up. There's a couple onion and garlic plants down oh, in here. They're sprouting. Yep. So we do have some things still going that I'm going to have to pull before they come and till this all up. And then this little makeshift DIY bed is actually the asparagus patch. Yeah. I don't know if we can see, here's one coming up. So, so cute. we got that. And we got the loofah. Yep, this is my DIY loofah trellis, just made with the old back fencing that had broken. Yeah. We did finally get that repaired another 700 bucks yay but that is fixed so we've got lots of projects going on lots of projects and then inside the greenhouse i have gotten some teeny started we started these in the grow tent and then up potted those before the big storm and the rain. Same with these. These are either sugar or snap peas. I'd have to look at my notes, 
but we've got to get those somewhere because they're starting to already want to trellis and vine. And then we got lots of mint. Yep. So these are going to be very good for tea. Yep, I use them a lot. We'll probably uh, get some um, vodka and make some tinctures with them. So that I don't even water or anything, it just grows. Yes, Siley Bug. Well, we can make um, you know, those chocolate mints with the salt on top. Yeah, so the other day we came out here and we grabbed mint leaves yeah. and made mint dark chocolate with salt on top. With and some, candy. yep, with some chunky salt. Yep. Mint candies. The kids loved them, so. Yeah. Nice, healthy thing. All right, come on, Peanut. Let's get these. Yes, my kids. Um, we try to get them involved in every single part of the process. You know, my daughter went out with me today to shop for seeds and everything, um, showing her the difference in them and what to look for, and then. Having her, having them remind me really to water things because I'm really bad at watering. Um, that helps out too. So my kids are homeschooled, so they are with us all the time. They see all the crazy things that I get myself into on a daily basis. In the morning, they always ask, "Are you canning today?" Because they know that that's an all-day long process. Huh, oh, Nugget. Yep, canning or baking bread. Mm -hmm. I like, kind of like baking. Yeah, Siley really likes to bake with me, so she is my baker. Yep. We make oh, cookies, we make sourdough bread. We make muffins for breakfast because we generally don't buy cereal. Yeah, that much. So, it's so expensive. It is very expensive, you're right. <laughs> so we made, the last time we made um, yep. banana chocolate chip muffins. Yep, and they were pretty good, huh? Yeah, we ate all of them, I ate the last one. So I did buy some of these little cheap plastic ones. Um, mm. I won some, oh, what channel was that? There was a channel I was watching, I forget his name. Um, he was raising money for um, to start a 501 for veterans, and my husband and I are veterans ourselves, so I thought that that was pretty cool, and one of the items that had been donated was a 3D printed sign um, for your gardens, and um, I had him do it in a glow-in-the-dark filament, so I've got those are somewhere in the house. And then my older brother works in robotics and has access to 3D printers. So he will be printing us up a whole bunch more of these glow in the dark ones Ooh. versus using these. But because I don't remember what I've planted a lot of times, we're going to use some cheap Walmart ones. Yep. Yes, that's who it was. Ryan. Yes. Yes. So that was actually a really good, it was a really good idea. And I am super excited for those. But I think the ones that I ordered were like oregano, um, more of the things that I haven't started yet because the weather here is just not ready to start those kind of things. Where are you going, Nugget? Huh? Say again? What about it? Oh, it's all right. She's saying the wind is blowing the garage door, but it's okay because my husband and youngest are at t-ball practice. Yep. So it's just me and mommy. It's just me and Xylee and all the animals. <laughs> yes. All the animals. Mm -hmm. So we we decided to plant and do a live together. Well, thank you for stopping in, Jerry. I'm working on watch hours at the moment, so we're gonna be trying to go live a couple more times this week to boost ourselves up there. We're almost at our, well, we are at our 365 days, so I've gotta be really careful about watch hours falling off, but we're really close. I think we're at like 30, 3,100 or something, so we're less than a thousand away for the full kits and caboodle type of 
shebang, but we're working on it. You hear him? Okay, so do you want to get dirt or do you want to plant? I'm gonna get the dirt. I love dirt. Okay, you want the gloves on? Yeah. Okay. So I've got myself a mixture of garden slash potting soil slash um, garden compost. I'm trying to read the bag that's over there. And then there was mushroom compost or something. And then I've got some blood meal and a couple of other things that we can add. They're probably going to be too big for you. Kind of big. That's alright, huh? Yeah, I keep getting my fingers wrong. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to give you a cup. We are using just a regular red Solo Cups. Cheapest potting container you can find out there. We have been using these. This is probably like the fourth year. You can see some of them are like sun damaged and everything. But we just took a knife and we stabbed a couple holes in the bottoms. And have let it just kind of drained itself. It's a nice cheap way to do like a secondary stage when you are up potting. Thank you, Nugget. Hello, Adventure America. Uh, oh, here you can just take the whole stack over. Okay, okay. I'm gonna move your chair though. Okay, so we are, I can't remember if these are sugar or snap peas. I would have to look my notes, but look at the roots on those. They definitely need some water. They're a little bit wilty, so I'll have to get them some water. These did really nicely. This is the first year I should mention. This is the first year I've ever grown peas. Um, we don't usually, I don't know, personally, I don't really like growing things like peas or lima beans because they're just kind of a pain in the butt to pick all the time and then to shell. But can you fill them a little bit more, honey? Like to almost the top? Um, but this year now we do have the, thanks Nugget, we do have the freeze dryer. So this is going to be the first really big garden season with the freeze dryer. Um, it's going to make all the difference uh, for sure this year for us. So we are doing a lot more of the things that I normally wouldn't do. Hello Bearded Eagle, welcome in. And we also had a huge change in our household this past week which is exciting nerve-wracking but it changes the entire way that we cook the entire way that we prep the entire garden has been changed from like what we would typically do and that is my That's eldest coming up. thanks honey my eldest son just left for the air force um, so he is in basic training. This is week zero for them. And he was, well, he is definitely the most calorie dense eating person in my family. So, you know, teenage boys can eat through 5,000 calories and it not do anything. So, wow. That's a lot. yeah, it was a lot. It was very expensive too. Really? <laughs> So now that he is no longer in the food budget, now we can just feed four people. Now we've got four people to feed, right? Which is really like three adults because I've got my younger kids are smaller. Um, so that oh, kind of changes. Can you put a little bit more on this one? Yes, ma'am. So that kind of changes the entire dynamic of everything in the household and it's kind of crazy how much something like that changes you know everything that you're doing so we're getting a little bit more adventurous with the garden this year and 
we are going to, oh no, honey, there's like a hundred cups up here. And we are going to have to invest a little bit more in things to help me with weeding because I'm going to be down a set of hands to help me oh, weed. I'm going to take this too. Zyla, are you going to help me weed the garden when it's time? Yeah, I will. She says that now, but we'll see. We'll see if she's really going to help. <laughs> Yeah, well, they're gonna come and till it all up, and Daddy's gonna put a bunch of seeds, dirt. No, Mama's trying to do all the seed stuff. Uh, can I? Um, I need more. I need the oh, whole stack. Here's another stack for you. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, Nugget. So yeah, that's all of the craziness we've got. It's been an interesting week. So we also, I was gonna film a lot of it, but to be honest, I just kind of wanted to get it done versus messing with the camera and everything else. Order up. Yes, the garden is going to be Mommy, you already got like three orders and need to finish. Year. No, bro, leave it. There's people walking their dogs and my dogs have ran to the fence. Um. Yeah, we are kind of adventuring out. We are also in the um, hashtag survival seeds 24, which is hosted by Vineyard Chicks, Lazy Days Ahead, and I wanna say there's one other person. Um, so I will be doing my entry video to that this week as well. So I'm excited for that. We've got the Emergency 24 collaboration going on right now that, um, I am hosting along with Tanya over at Lowell Family Adventures. And that collaboration is going so awesome. Bushcraft family, thank you, Heather. See, I don't know, I read the papers and then they get sidetracked or put somewhere and I'm like, I knew I was gonna have to read the paper though when I made that video, so I didn't forget the other person. I actually just watched Lazy Days Ahead lives yesterday, so but we are in that one and i was waiting to get the seeds and they said it could take like five or six weeks but we actually just got them so it didn't take as long as they said it might so that's nice and then we have we've got that emergency collaboration going on and that is using all freeze-dried or dehydrated ingredients to make meal in a jars or emergency meals Thank you, our cabin in the woods. I appreciate you stopping in. Definitely understand having to feed the animals, that's for sure. I actually just had fed the monkey before I came out here because I knew he'd be in there squawking if I didn't. The dog squawks all the time. He does squawk all the time. <laughs> even, when, even when we go out, yep. wake up and watch TV, he would still squawk. Yup. Squirrel monkeys are very, they like to be around their people. So if it's since my son has left for the Air Force, it's been a lot different because my son would usually stay up and play video games in the living room um, until like 11 or 12 or and maybe Rome two. Luke. And yes, his dog misses him too. So the monkey is not used to my schedule, which is I'm trying to go to bed at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock. And so the monkey will be out there like, hey, the, the lights are off, the living room's dark. I'm not used to going to bed this early. So it's it's been an adjustment for all of us, but it is nice. It is nice to be able to spin less on groceries, that's for sure and be able to spend more on things that we need to upgrade like my chicken coop that is literally falling, falling down right now i know and chicken coops are pretty expensive too they are everybody are uploading the price they are i looked into getting one custom built i looked into trying to get a sponsor and i did not get any hits man it's sad Poor so Bobby. It's all right. It happens. So we've got, we ordered from Chewy a big nesting box. Thankfully it was on sale for 50%, but it was still $350. And then we've got to order the new chicken run 
on the next pay period. So everything here has to be done in an orderly fashion. Um, I also had to pay the fees for my monkeys LLC and that was 300 and something dollars this month that, you know, typically I don't have budgeted for things like that. So that was fun too. This but we pants. make it work. Hopefully the chicken coop can hold for another week and a half, two weeks till payday. I hope. Yeah, me too. We have hawks here really bad, so if you're wondering why they have to be in an enclosure, it's because the hawks are terrible here. And the people that lived here before us, um, the people that lived here before us, they had their chickens just out and about, and they would say that they would get picked off like all the time. And I was like, what's the point of having your chickens if you're just gonna allow them to get picked off by the hawks? So, I didn't think that was very fair for the chickens. So we made a chicken coop to protect them from getting eaten. Yep, we made a chicken coop to protect them from getting eaten. Because the hawks are like up there yeah, hunting. Uh, yep, they are. And my mom told me the last time that hawks eat chickens. They do eat chickens. I know. They do, they do. <laughs> I know, so that's why we put them in the chicken coop in the first place. Yes, Heather, yes. It's so sad. I mean... I grew up and we had chickens and we had ducks and we would take ducks to the local fair and we would get, you know, baby chicks every year and the ducks and we would go out there every single night. We had a big pond though too. So like the ducks could go and be on the pond all day, but we never had any issues like what we do here and we live in town and it's just insane. I got another order right away with your new shovel, Mommy. With your new shovel is very hold a lot of dirt. Yeah, the new shovel does. I know, I know. that's it why I got right it. Right away, it was like instant. I Fill know. Up. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Little okay. things make her excited. Little things. Here, have some water. Free. Oh. <laughs> oh, nugget. <laughs> All right. I think we're about at the end of this tray i think everything else i want to kind of allow the opportunity to get a little bit stronger roots in here but i do have some really cool spinach that i got from baker's creek farm they had never grown it before but they sent it because they love ollie and so they sponsor a video every year and send us some seeds for him and so we tried it and it's like a vining spinach and the vine is red Okay, hang on, Peanut. Um, here, why don't you come stand right here and talk to them for one second while I go grab the spinach. Okay? okay? You tell them how your day was. My day was very good, and today um, we get to go to the store and buy some plant stuff. So, while we were getting ready, my baby brother's at T-Ball right now. And yeah, my big brother went to the Air Force, which is kind of sad, but yeah. So we took it over a Luke's room and we were probably just getting used to it for a couple days. It's been like a couple. So we we're still getting used to it, but. <laughs> all right so we've got I need more cups. these are what they are i don't remember the name of them but i was growing them in my lint pot but look at how like diesel these bad boys are oh my gosh the roots are so big look at how big these leaves are i used these to make some little um raw tofu tacos the other day and it was so good so good really milky My dog found her squeaky toy, so she's over there. So now I need to figure out the best way to get this out of the plastic without damaging all these roots. Yeah, it's gonna be really tough. Yeah, it might just have to stay in. In, yeah. Then we're not gonna get not sure. plastic. 
Yeah, I can't remember what these are called. Like I said, they're from Baker's Creek though, and I have never grown them before. They are very planty tasting. So if you are not planty taste, if you don't like planty type of plants, I would not recommend. But they did take a while to sprout. Hang on, I gotta do something. For them. Mm, I am just like destroying the roots, so I'm hoping that it doesn't kill this. I hope not either. But I need my little plastic container back. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, I thought you fell. This is I'm just gonna try to. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. Look at all that. Oh, that makes me kind of sad. I might just leave the other ones. <laughs> no, I won't. Don't you touch my ball. Ball, but you can see ball. these roots are like oh, oh. thick. Getting a little rough there, bruh. Eh, going along. Sorry, bruh. So these are actually probably way too big for a cup and should be planted in something like this. Hey, well, can you fill this up for me, honey? Oh yeah. Thank oh, you. Lord, we'll have to go back to the greenhouse and get some more of those. Sneaky. <laughs> Yep. So we are going to make these. I'm very excited to get the glow in the dark ones because I think it's going to look so cool. Keys. You almost spilled some dirt out? Yeah, like look. That part, I, I got to dig the big hole you can see right there. Oh. Yeah. Little peanut. And I need to get myself some new gloves. Every year I feel like we buy a hundred pair of gloves and by the end of the season, I can never find a pair. Look, I can do two at a time. Oh yeah, true. Look at you using your brain. I know, I saw the two shovels, they look just the same and I'm like, hmm, maybe I can do two at a time. There we go. All right, one big scoop, coming up, coming in line. Oh, that's like perfect. Thanks. I am. See, so this is just a reused pot from the raspberry bush that we had bought a couple years ago. Yeah, it probably died. We don't typically buy any new containers. Um, we just use our old ones. We just use the old ones. Yep, see? She'll tell you. I ain't lying to y'all. She'll tell you the truth. If, mm. if I'm lying, she'll tell you. She'll let you know. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. So I'm not really sure. Yeah, but I don't need them filled up, honey. I, I need more bigger pots filled up. Oh, bigger yeah, pots? I'll go find, like I'll go find some in the greenhouse. Okay, just be careful. Could be snakes. Snakes? Oh, this thing is like huge. I'm not really sure how to plant this. It needs like a tomato trellis or something on this bad boy. He's like diesel. Thank you for stopping in. I got that whole of resources on the garden. It was just dirt. Oh, well, what if it was dirt we needed? Did you dump it at least on the garden part? Um, I just dumped it on the floor in front of the greenhouse. Oh, okay. Next time to the greenhouse, okay? Or to the, um, which McCallum? Can we fill this with dirt? Yep. Where's that other glove? Oh, okay. It's right there. See, I almost lost my other glove already. Day one. Lost glove. <laughs> All right. So we got those. But we need new doors. This one I think I can probably put in a cup. He doesn't have as big of... I really don't want to keep them in the plastic. Oh, that one slid right out. Okay, cool. Maybe one more scoop. Let's do this. Yeah, we're going to shove that down in there. And these um, growing mediums are like sponges. Is what came with the let pot. They're not my favorite, I will be honest. Um, I had a really... Hello. 
Um, just wait, it's going in the greenhouse. I had a very hard time getting my seeds to sprout in the lead pot. Um, I think I had to plant two or three rounds in that thing before they actually germinated and took off. And I actually had to like soak the sponges daily with the seeds in them for it to get enough moisture to germinate. So if you have a lead pot, that's what I had to do to get mine to actually sprout. So I was very disappointed. I planted lettuce at first. Two hands on that, please. Thank you. It was already cracked anyway, but it oh, it's cracked. Oh, okay. But it still works. Okay. I fill it up the dirt. Okay, just be careful with that crack. Um, so I was very sad because I needed lettuce for my monkey, but only one of them actually sprouted. And we've ate all of it already now, so. We'll have to figure out what to put in the let pot this next round. Uh, oh, that's okay. We'll it's put one of the. A lot of dirt anyway. We'll put this one in there. Oh, okay, so I think that's it, then. That's all we need. Now I can't wait to weed the garden. <laughs> weed the garden? Oh, we don't have to weed it yet, honey. They're going to come with the tractor and um, get it ready for us to garden. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'm going to blow some bubbles. You're going to blow some bubbles, okay. I need some more dirt on this. So hard to open. Would you like some help? See, yes. look at this. It's just like floppity floppity. I know, even that was like leaning know. to the right. I mean, the left. It's like to leaning the right, right to the right to the right to the right to the left to the left to the left to the left. Now keep, now keep. Now. Let's see. Whoa, bubbles! All right. So these were getting to the point where they were so tall, I wasn't able to Whoa, my dress. Um, move the light up anymore. The light was extended as much as it could be. Let's see if that works. Sorry, y'all. The internet here has been very sketch, which kind of stinks because it's fiber optic. It's supposed to be the best top of the line, you know, since we do social media. But obviously, we still have issues sometimes with it going in and out during lives. I mean, they're difficult, dirty. Mommy. Yeah, they are pretty dirty. So, <laughs> we gotta wash our hands real quick. Look at my hands; they're not even dirty. I know. So, what have you been doing? <laughs> your your hands aren't dirty at all. Look at that. Mine are dirty. <laughs> I'm clean. <laughs> But look, my shirt is not. Oh, yeah, your shirt got a little dirt on it. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. We can wash it, huh? Yeah, there's always a time to wash. Right. And now we're probably going to label these. Are these the glow in the dark ones? Heather, we have AT&T fiber optic for internet. And then we have a... Top of the line Nighthawk for the Wi Fi, but obviously, even with top of the line stuff, it has not been too great. Actually, I've noticed a lot of dropped phone calls recently. Um, when my brother and I play online games, a lot of time we will be kicked out of the server, and that has like never happened until like as of late. I would say the last month has been really bad. Ooh, a new job. Ooh, a new job. Yes. A new job, huh? Yeah, I'm going to be a veterinarian someday. Yes, so Zyli wants to be a vet someday. Because I like cats. My youngest son wants to be a, a police, police officer. officer or a pro gamer. So he loves his Minecraft. Me too. I'm just starting yep. on survival. Yep. They're getting into that. 
Um, yeah. We usually play creative most of the time, so we're going to try to do survival. Yep. I'm not a pro builder, so. No, neither am I. They know stuff that I don't know, and so. Yeah. Because we watch a lot of YouTube videos. They do watch a lot of YouTube videos of people playing Minecraft. Yeah, but I kind of like playing it more than watching it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hello, Joe. Fix it for you. Can you say hello to Joe? Hello, Joe. Yep, so we are up potting. We've Plants. got most of them up potted, I believe, most of them. So we've got some spinach. It is the most diesel spinach I've ever seen. Um, I got it from Baker's Creek Farm or Baker's Creek Seeds. Baker's Creek Farm. Ugh, see, I can't read messages and <laughs> I can't read messages and talk at the same time. Um, we grew those. Yeah, this one's the biggest one we got. We grew these in the indoor let pot. Now they're just to the point where they need to go out because they're just too big. So. Yeah, I hope it doesn't die because it's leaning to the left. Yeah, we're going to have to be very careful with, with hardening them off. Excuse me. Ugh. <laughs> um, so hopefully we will take those. And then we've got, these are either sugar or snap peas. I'd have to look at my notes. I don't remember, but um, that's just half of the batch. This is my first year planting peas. So, oh, his muzzle. Come here, bro. Come here. You gotta put this back on. <laughs> you really, no, I don't no, want No, no, stop it. Like, I don't want Actually, that. I'm just going to take it off for now. Just stay up there, okay? Go on, go play. He wants to play with the ball. See? Oh, that's probably why, because he's jealous of Miki. Yeah, he wants to go play ball. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to give you back my ball. It's my ball. Not yours. <laughs> Mama got it from me. You're silly. <laughs> I know. Hello, princess. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Zylie went with me today. We got some new seeds. We got some cauliflower. cauliflower. Sweet pepper carnival blend. They yeah. look pretty. They do look pretty. Hopefully they're tasty, huh? Yeah, we got radishes. I never tried radishes, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Zylie has ever had radishes. We don't usually buy them um, or eat them, but they are great for companion planting. So that's what we will be and using those for. And my favorite, Brussels sprouts. My Brussels sprouts. sprouts. I have a very hard time growing Brussels sprouts here because they always shoot with the heat. In the wrong so season. I plant them in the wrong season. See, she's she's telling y'all exactly what I do wrong. And we got, looks like bean garden snap Yeah, peas. so what are those? They're not um, peas. What do they look like? They look like... Mama makes you guys snip bushels of them so I can can them. Peas? Nope. Green. Green. Beans. <laughs> green beans. <laughs> That's why they call them green bean garden because they well, they call beans. them bean garden because there's different kinds of them. Oh, really? Yeah. So these are the blue lake bush ones, and then some of them are vines, like how those are vines. Oh. Some yeah. of them do that, and they vine up. Um, I just don't have anywhere to trellis them, so we always do the bush. Um, <laughs> we've done these ones, and we've done like a purple brand too, or purple brand, a purple colored one. I don't remember that. <laughs> And we got microgreens. Whoa. We got microgreens. Yep. I'm going to start putting some of these in the monkey's food bowl. Um, and then using them in like my little raw taco salads that I like to make. So we got um, jalapeno hot peppers. Mm hmm. I was wondering if you'd get that word. <laughs> It's a weird one. Yeah. So I'll typically we don't more. buy peppers either. Um, my friend Holly down the road, she always over plants. And so she will give us peppers um, pretty much almost every year. She's had to get rid of some peppers. And the problem is though, is they're never labeled. So we never know what kind of peppers they are until we, um, until some of them start coming through. Yeah. And so. Me and mommy always like every time at night we would go and pick some banana peppers mm -hmm. and pick everything else before it starts getting dark, dark, dark. Right. Or rain, 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 or storm. Yep. Or it's too windy. Yep. Or this is my cold. helper. She helps me with a garden. She helps me pick. She mm -hmm. helps eat it. That's for sure. <laughs> 
and we got some green broccoli. Some broccoli, yeah. That's my favorite with cauliflower. My kids love broccoli. Broccoli and cauliflower. Yep. Nobody likes to eat broccoli except for us. Yep, they do. Don't read that. That's daddy's text. Yeah, don't read it. Okay? <laughs> My husband and my youngest are playing t-ball right now. They're at their yeah. first practice, so mm -hmm. that's what they are doing. Yep, and my big brother is going to be going for a new t-ball team. Yep, he's got a new team this year, so Me they're too. meeting the team. Oh, and then this one is going to be in cheerleading. Again. So I have volunteered to be an assistant coach for that again this year. I know, it's very fun to do cheerleading. It is very with fun. With you. Thanks. This is the reason why I'm doing it. No other reason. Do it for my kids. Yeah. Because it's very stressful. <laughs> it's better than sitting around and watching TV. This is true. Or doing schoolwork. Yeah, with Ranger. Yeah, doing schoolwork with Ranger. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that pretty much occupies a lot of our summer time. Um, T-ball has practice two times a week. And then they start games, and then as soon as t-ball season is done, cheerleading starts. Like, coaches' meetings have already started On for April, because so, my birthday's going to be coming soon. Yep, your birthday is coming soon. Yes, yes, yes. So then once cheer starts, then they have practice three times a week, and then they start having games. So then it's practice and games. So it's, it's a lot, um, but... I can handle it. Glad one of us can. And they're also going to be changing on um, those two people, too. Yep, they're going to have new people. Mm -hmm. Yep. More people to make friends with. That's right. More friends. We like friends, huh? Yeah. Friends yeah. are the best. Friends are the best. See, you heard it here. Friends are the best. Speaking of friends, everybody here in the chat is our friends. Yep. We got Peaceful Des. We got Joe. We got Heather. We got Tony. Mm -hmm. And We've just got so many friends. Yeah, there's so much on the line. So many friends. I know. I know. Yeah. We appreciate everybody watching. We are going to jump off. We're going to get all of these plants put into the greenhouse. And um, then we'll probably get back on and do weeding. No, I got to do a live with the monkey. Really? Yeah, daddy's going to be home here soon. So mm. we got to get dinner going. And then I'll probably do a live with the monkey tonight. Or I have a video to film for um, um, a product review. Could I be with it? Mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to want to be in it. Why? Because it's kind of a long process one. Like it has to boil for like two hours. No, bro. He's like running with the dog. I know. The dogs see other people are walking their dogs. So they're running to the gate. So we appreciate everybody here watching. Thank you so much. Give us a big thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe if you are new. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.